West Ham hosting Liverpool at London Stadium. Well, West Ham, nine points of a possible nine. Eh? Three wins in a, in a row against a team that is unbeaten. <laughs> So <laughs> you have to say it. Right? You have to, <laughs> to say it. Uh, yeah. uh, that might. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I support you. Uh, West Ham hey, has support won support people, <laughs> this week. <West> has, <laughs> so, has won Spurs. Has beaten mm-hmm. Aston Villa convincingly. Uh, mm-hmm. Beaten teams like Everton and even beaten Leicester four one. So yep. West Ham are uh, considered legit lah. Legit, you know. They are not like winning but... Norwich. They are not just winning Newcastle. They are winning and the you... mid table teams as well, right? And yeah, they're doing very yeah. well in the Europa League also. Oh, yeah. nice. That's yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. As we speak tomorrow, I think tomorrow night, we'll be yeah. facing Genk, Genk or Genk, Genk at Genk, Be- Be- yeah. Be- Be- Belgium. Belgium yeah. 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 But like Genk, right? haven't lost before. We lost mm-hmm. once, uh, okay. which is to uh, what? Brentford, I think. Yeah. No, for the yeah. Europa. Europa, no. The, oh, we are yeah. top of the table. Oh, yeah. No, top Europa. of the table, man. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. So, but, same but, as but, us, eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, same as us also. We but, lost but, to Brentford. <laughs> <laughs> but, but like James said, uh, Jay, this, is, uh, this is just 10 games in. Uh, 10, games, 10, 10 games in into the, the, the season. The season uh, my, uh, my team has a very bad habit of dropping points uh, after Christmas. So, <laughs> I'm not... I'm not expecting. I don't have high expectations. Ah, uh. with being a West Ham fan, uh, you keep your expectations very low. <laughs> <laughs> so there's no, well, you come with no expectations. You got no come out with no disappointment. So like, oh, we lost. Okay, then move on. That's it. So, <laughs> yeah, but are you surprised have, at this? Uh, after ten games, that you are in this position, and beating think, the likes of Everton, Aston Villa, and even Leicester. I think with the 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 top between. The, the banter between the, the fans like we are, especially West Ham fans that this is quite possibly one of the best teams we ever had in a long long while in a long long while in terms of uh, teamwork uh, uh, everybody giving their all it's yeah. one of the best team ever we, we don't have Prima Donas anymore uh, it's everybody working on the same level who, who was your Prima Donna? Uh, Lingard um <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, the striker oh that, uh, no, people, people like Bayek uh, Payet, uh, what in the the, um, the Austrian guy, and then the um, the guy that went to AX. I'm um, sorry, I'm very bad with names. I know faces. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so they all left, and then you realize that uh, good players are coming through. Uh, and then David Moyes have a knack for getting bargain basement uh, uh kind of deals. Uh, no, like I said, uh, Dawson, and then uh, Antonio, uh, Kuf- uh, Antonio Kufal. Uh, no, all these people are really bugging business, but then they, 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 their work rate is over the top. So he, it's he, good he also that Antonio uh, just uh, came and just came back from injury, right? From I injury. Mean, he, yes, correct. Yeah, last yeah. season yeah. was quite bad for him, right? Yeah, yeah quite. He he. Uh, uh, Antonio is very injury prone, uh, to be honest. And then uh, as of now, I think he's uh, technically our only striker. Uh, you don't count Jared Bowen, but a uh, striker out oh, and out, we only have. Yeah, he's you only got Marco Antonio. Yeah, even more so, you know? uh, and somehow he's a uh, he's uh, like a uh, not really your all out kind of striker, but no, he's always mm-hmm. there. Uh, he's annoying, lah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's that fly in front of me, yeah. <laughs> Correct, yeah, yeah. But that makes it a bit more impressive that you get all of. Uh, I mean, with Antonio out and also him being the only striker and he's out still, uh, mm-hmm. and you guys are still racking up the the. The performance and points that makes I mean, you good. guys, yeah, you guys got a lot of good players, right? You got Ben Rama who that. was performing in the first few games, yeah, and then Antonio scoring as well. And now people yeah. are talking about Declan Rice going to bigger clubs. I mean, he's he's get in the radar for performing yeah, so well. Yeah. And you got Suchek, yeah. and you got a very yeah. uh, solid backline, which I think Moyes is famous for. Uh, Dawson Cresswell. Yeah. Uh, who else? Um, yeah. Dawson Cross is the one that stands out the most like, because they are like indispensable for like, almost almost every uh, match and Kufal, yes. Compared to the rest of the Premier League, I think uh, we're not as big as like some of the bigger clubs like Manchester United or Manchester City or you know, Liverpool or even Arsenal. But we are, uh, I think uh, David Moyes has done an excellent job on getting people, the players to come out with the best, best side of them. Uh, mm. Even though that you know people don't really like oh, who are these guys, especially like Ben Rama, he came out from nowhere, and then actually he came out from Brentford, and then he joined us, uh, and then he now he's like almost a fixture for every game. Uh, he's a menace in the in the wings. Uh, you know? so it's interesting to play see the the team playing now, which is like 
uh, it's a privilege. It's a it's a it's a good time to be a West Ham uh, fan. Now. But the thing about Moyes, I like is he can really meet, uh, make like West Ham, Everton be yep. a force. Uh, yep. I, okay, I, I, I mean, to, to win a title, if Leicester, with that squad itself, able to yep. win the title, he is, he is very capable of taking the yep. team like this. Yep. I do agree that... Um, hang, hang on, hang on. What, what, what do you mean? A title? Title? Who title? Huh? No, it's Ranieri. Leicester. Leicester City? No, no. If Leicester can win the title, oh. Oh, okay. Moyers also can do it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I do agree the the, the 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 time, but the thing is you have to understand. Ferguson left, we need to come uh replace and get the momentum and win and the title back to back or something. Mm. But the performance mm. was so bad that there's no even Europa to go through. Mm. But how bad is Ole is there is Europa that is Champions League. I mean, I mean to be very honest with you, I mean it's yeah. also very wrong to, to say that Moyes isn't a good manager. I, I know he's very good, but he really needs some time and like maybe two seasons to, yeah. to, to get rid of, play, of the players he doesn't want and get mm. in the player that he wants and see the academy. and this You know like yeah. Wayne Rooney. It's from the academy itself. Yeah. Bringing up United so, you know, I have to have this guy because he's mm. going to be a force. Buy over, right? I mean, Everton got the money, etc., etc. That, but if you ask me yourself, Moyes is type of manager can go to any, even if you go to Newcastle, give him two seasons with the money that he has, he might win the title because he knows yeah. how to use the player. I mean, I mean, yeah, any it, any he, manager needs more than four months, lah, to make yeah. the changes. <laughs> Yeah, guys. Let me get back but, to let me get back to what uh, James said. Uh, Moyes is the manager that can win the title if he have money. Then why was he not given time in Manchester United when Manchester United have the money? You want to compare versus City and versus Newcastle? <laughs> well, okay. Let's let's just say one. Okay, sorry to say this. Uh, there oh, is restriction, yeah. you know. City, in a way, there's no restriction. Newcastle confirmed got no restriction. <laughs> you know, we are but, slightly better than Liverpool, to be honest, in spending. But you see, things happen. The pitch invasion, and that's where we spend. Previously, um, it's not so smooth in buying players in the previous season. How much, how much were Sam spent on this last transfer window? Not much. Oh. It's just, that's what I say. Just you. They say um, money is of course so, so can buy you success, uh, But yeah, just think yeah. about with West Ham. We have no money. <laughs> Our owners are stingy. Yeah, so you spend stingy. a lot on the soap, soap liquid yeah. for the bubbles in yeah. the stadium. Americans, yeah. Americans, yeah, Americans. Yeah. No, they're Americans. They're the Brits, lah. Uh, okay. David Rocky Gold Americans. and uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> and uh, David Sullivan. They are the, the stingiest owners in the Premier League. <laughs> no, almost no money. They they make money in the, in the past. They used to sell our academy academy uh uh graduates to other teams, no? Mm. Or these uh to, to other teams, uh, Yeah. <laughs> so what happens now is that uh they realize they can't do that because the fans will kill them. Uh, at the same time, uh, if you notice the squad now, there's a lot more younger faces, especially mm. uh, uh Ben Johnson, that scored the first goal uh in Aston Villa. He's a product of the academy, and you will notice that more and more of these uh younger uh players are coming yeah. in the ranks, because David Moyes understands that you cannot just keep buying players and bringing them in. You have to build your yeah. own. Yeah, I think that's why he firmly believes in, and that's why he did in Everton too. You know, people like uh like uh what's his name? Rooney. Uh, Rooney. Yeah, but the, yeah. yeah, but but the thing is like this: if you go to a big club. Mm. With Moyes' reputation itself, mm. the chances of getting big players itself, I mean, Ole maybe some special privilege lah. Yeah. But if we compare, we don't compare Ole. Okay. O, I, I, somehow or other, yeah lah. It, I, I know I'm a very Ole guy. But if yeah. you compare like, uh, Ben Gaul, yeah. If you compare Mourinho, yeah. they can bring in players. Yeah. So the the, the, the you see, Yeah, you but see? the thing is. As I mentioned, I like, I love Moyes because he's done super good in Everton himself. 
Yeah. Okay. I I I I feel that he he has a player, and United that 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 group of player wasn't that bad. Still can win another title. The Van Persie, if I'm not wrong, the next season when he goes. I mean, he he I I don't think uh Fellini was a very bad buy. You know, he he is. Oh, he, he my wife begs to differ. <laughs> My wife is yeah, a lifelong right. Manchester United yeah. fan. Every yeah. time Fanny Fanny comes out, she curses his name like no man, nobody misses because he's the most useless <laughs> yeah. player on the same field. But if com- if if you ask her yeah. to compare with Pogba, I think Fanny still do his work. Really? <laughs> I I I I. I I don't know. Really? But I, 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 he's, a, he's a fan of Ole and a fan of Fellini. L- l- let's just let's just say this. No, 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 no. But just the thing it. is, you seem to be a fan of West Ham. You seem to be a fan of mid table. Let's just say this. Let's just say this. I I I I watched Fellini play when he was at Everton. He was mediocre. And we went to mess. Why I don't know. I don't know why he went to Manchester United because I know why. Like because David Moyes called him over. And when he went to Manchester United, he was horrible. So see, it's like. The structure is not the same in Everton and Manchester United, lah. Maybe you maybe Moyes didn't yeah. fit into Manchester United because Moyes yeah, like, like can said, motivate yeah. uh, normal players to bring them up, but Moyes cannot mm. really handle big egos of you know mm. top players. Let me, yeah. yeah, let me correct this part. Which part? The <laughs> Fellini part. Oh, okay, <laughs> the Fellini part. I don't think he did very badly. Overall, itself, I think he's still pretty okay. Yeah, okay. It, it's just a very unfortunate that. He was a panic buy because mm. that that season itself wasn't much, and he was the bigger signing. Even Fellini, he's quite well known in the league as well. You know, tough, uh, aggressive. This what well, I look at him. Maybe you know, like uh, another Ronaldo. Uh, sorry, Roy Keane and the Keane. So you know, the defensive, uh, uh, but you know, the middle, uh, middle of the field. You know, the tackling, the 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 hustle itself. Turn out to be he's not a very good fit. You know, I I I I always feel that Mo- Moyes shouldn't even accept the job because when you accept the job itself, I think the term and condition, the 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 structure, the the wish of the boss, everything is listed down, sir. Mm-hmm. I think he want to jump is because that he want to prove himself he can go. But I admire his work. Liking the table team and admire the manager. Uh, Work itself is totally different. Like Conte, I I never like his work. You he know? might prove you wrong, maybe. Yeah. He might prove you, 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 you wrong. You, you know, oh, if you know, I, I'm very, I'm very, <laughs> yeah, I'm very <laughs> thankful. I'm on headphones because if my wife heard what you say about Fernie, she'll come in and scream at you. So I'm so I'm so, I'm so careful that I'm on headphones. <laughs> well, I mean, this is my own. Uh, what's, I mean, what's your wife think know. on Pogba? Uh, what's your wife's take? Ah, on yes, Pogba? let's hear that. <laughs> she wants she, to ask. She, she stopped watching Man United f- uh, uh, play uh, after Moyes. She said she, the whole team is gone. The 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 oh. that Man United uh, spirit that she knew is gone. Ah. So she doesn't she doesn't want it want, want to watch it. Wait, wait. Would you yeah. prefer Would you prefer Ole to be your manager, West Ham's manager? Hell no, hell no. <laughs> Why, uh, why, no, why? You know why? You know why? Uh, because the I think the back staff, support staff, plays a huge part. Okay. okay. Uh, mm. You know why? Because I actually know a lot of the back staff in West Ham. Back staff. You have Kevin Nolan. Okay. Ooh. Basically, Mr. West Ham. Yeah, okay? yeah, yeah. He and Mark Noble. Okay. Legend, legend. Uh, he, he's a legend. And, yeah, then he, they, and then he got one more legend. He got Stuart Pierce. You don't F mm. around with Stuart Pierce. Okay. Oh, nice. Not on training. You know how <laughs> you know how crazy that guy is last yeah, time. Himself, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you got Stuart Pierce and Kevin Nolan at the back line. You are, if you're trying to play around, these two will just kill you on side. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's, that's I think yeah. discipline, discipline. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, that's, that's what is missing yeah. from Manchester United. Yeah. yeah, yes, that's what yeah. I was saying in yeah. the last, uh, last, uh, last, uh, last week, last week. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. United need to have a bit more experienced coach yep. to stabilize the whole training. You know, certain certain area. Because yep. most of the United, beside Mike uh, Phelan, is it? Mm. He's the only senior coach. Yeah. But he may be a bit outdated. He needs someone that, not like in the sixties, maybe like in the late forties to the fifth. Uh, early 50s where he knows the last 10 games how the game has evolved 
you know, mm, I, I'm very surprised that yeah, yeah, yeah. Pierce, Pierce is in there. I, I know like um, Nolan, you know, <laughs> that, that's, uh, but I'm no. very, look, yeah. that, that's also what because, we were lacking. Yeah, also because of the culture of certain of certain places. I think in the, my previous appearance at the show, I mentioned about Shusek and Kufal. Yep. You know, when they, are, they have off days, when they come to, they train every day. They arrive they four hours before. before anyone. You know, if I'm waiting for West Ham and I play over there, hey, I'm like, I say, see, this too early, they start training. And it's not even yeah, the date to come train. Yeah. It's so much, it's such a problem that Moya say, hey, you don't come back, please. Go and have a rest at home. Because these two will still mm-hmm. train. That's how crazy these two are. And then if you are West Ham player, you see them, uh, you are motivated 100%. Even if mm-hmm. Ronaldo cannot do this. So in I mean, the in the yeah. uh, in the uh, back room, right? The the place yeah. you're saying that they are born and their work rate is uh, very commendable. Uh, yeah. That West Ham yeah, fans because, will, is loving because right you now. You have yeah. to have that work rate because we have people like these two, uh, these two Croatians. Right? You, you, you have to you either have to step up or you lose out. And then mm-hmm. when you lose out, you, you, you look bad and you're like, hey, these two are like performing really is it well because of the I'm players like, or more yes uh, both, both both I think it's both, both. both working together yeah. right because to it's, motivate it's, it's all like, like I said it's a, it's a factor of in bedroom the manager mm. the players mm. uh, it gel very well Bef- previously before this we had people like Payet, uh, Payet and then uh, uh, what's his name uh, 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 oh my god that uh, Austrian player they all were prima donnas in, in the back room but it was so hard to manage them they didn't play for the club and this now I have in West Ham, we have p- p- players that really, really would pull out a heart and lung for the club. That's good. And that is, yeah. is, is appreciated by the fans. Mm. And, and they, we, wherever they go, you know, people like recognize that, okay, this work, is, work has been done. That's, that's what that's Arsenal have also important. with Ramsdale. <coughs> so they are play, we have players uh, who are playing for the club as Team well. Team man. Yes. Yeah. This is the thing. balance. Uh, it's a balance between the bedroom staff, like the legends, yeah. uh, of like uh, Pierce, uh, Nolan and all that, uh, the legends that are there to maintain the discipline. They have the players who are motivated by the other players who are so uh, into the West Ham lifestyle. No, yep. Then they have all the youngsters coming up. They don't buy stars. It doesn't yep. affect the team's morale. It doesn't affect the team's uh, balance and all that. So it's a very, very nice uh nice uh, triangle or nice uh, circle where everybody's just playing and maintaining the yeah you know yeah it, it's good now like. yes yeah. yeah it's good now but i uh, my my greatest fear is somebody will probably buy Deacon rice and then uh, it will throw things off like, a bit. Yeah, to be honest, no, yeah, to be honest. That one. That one. That one. No, 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 no. That team. No, 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 no. No matter, no matter with or without him, it's still a team. You guys will only suffer maybe one or two months. Uh, because Moyes, be hard, yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, when Rooney went off at the time, you just suffer yeah. that little part. Because okay, everything, everything. Yeah, but, but this is, see the point, right? Uh, we have Mark Noble who's gonna. This will be his last, um, last, uh, last season. Okay, I think, uh, Declan Rice will be a uh, automatic replacement for uh Mark Noble. Mm. Mark Noble or no, we call him Mister West, Mister West Ham because he's never played any other club. He's been West Ham since he was young until now. He's retiring, okay. so we a lot of a lot of the fans look at De- uh Declan Rice as a suitable replacement for Mark Noble and we do really hope that he stays let's talk about Liverpool <laughs> uh, Liverpool quite close to uh, same level as Arsenal they drew with Brighton eh? uh, last week <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm Arsenal sorry also, Arsenal also same drew. level eh? okay, let me see Arsenal Arsenal also no, 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 I, think, I think they were they were lose to uh, West Ham this week <laughs> oh, oh, oh. lose <laughs> I don't yeah. too much. James, even <laughs> too even much. I don't dare to make that 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 that, uh, that uh, <laughs> prediction because I. But West Ham is home, though. West Ham is home. So I know, yeah, I know, no, 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 bro. You have to always understand what goes up must, must come, come down. down. Yeah. Yeah. What goes uh, what from the bottom must go yeah. up. I tell you why why I'm not confident. Uh, West Ham can have a win. You know why? Because uh, because of the match today. Today they they might. They might over how say uh over expect themselves and go all out. It, this happened before, uh, and then when you go to a Premier League match, uh, they're all tired. <laughs> uh, so you know, 
That's what I'm afraid of. That's my main concern. They go crazy, score many goals at uh, at uh, in Belgium, <laughs> then come back to Premier League, punch it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's what my concern. They got like uh, three days at plus, uh, three... two and a half days, like considered uh. So it's, you think about it's... it, right? It's it's man, my greatest fear is that they are overworking themselves, especially West Ham. Mm. No, they so, this is like this is a no, no this for West Ham fans. It's first time in Europa, so woo. <laughs> yeah, so, like we were like, oh, okay, I tell you, I tell you, I I give you the blues over the weekdays. Uh-huh. You lose Europa, right? <laughs> you go back. Uh-huh. What? What? You see, I just need three points to qualify, <laughs> right? Yeah. Why not? I do it next week. Next week, mm. I think I might might have met. For example, next week, so, yeah. Hey, West Ham, the... West Ham needs to win because. This is their chance to go above yeah. Liverpool. Correct. Two okay. points against me, guys. Three people so, against you know, me. Uh, <laughs> is it good enough? Is it good enough, go 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 enough go reason? Is it but, good enough reason for you to go yeah. all out for this EPL game? That does, that's, it doesn't that, make sense. Yeah, but you know you have that 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 that, that, that no, you know, doesn't make sense. But then you have this expectation for your fans, right? If in Europa, so in like for almost 20, 30 years, we've never been in Europa. You know how much that means to a lot of us, like, hey, we're playing in overseas. It's so yeah. important. So yeah, but at the same time, we go in Champions League for very long. <laughs> same, <laughs> Liverpool, Liverpool, Arsenal, same. <laughs> almost lost to Brentford. <laughs> Arsenal lost to Brentford. <laughs> okay, but my, 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 my concern about Liverpool now is um, I don't think, you know, uh, you have um, complacency, I think, is a problem for Liverpool. Yeah, even though you are undefeated, uh, yeah. just uh, yeah, you they drew complacency. four games. Ah, uh, you you like that, to draw. Yeah, yeah. we love that, to draw. That, that game that they that were game. like, I I was watching one game that I uh, I forgot which game. It was like suddenly they went on on sleep mode. No, they like nobody's really doing anything. Alright, uh, Manchester City game. Game. Um, game. Ah, game. I think the last one. Ah, oh, last one. I, like, I I the, 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 the I was expecting more from Firmino, and he like macam macam kena with. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what the hell? Yeah. Hey, he, he, he only wake up one, yeah. game, one game, one game only against. Oh, bro, I tell you one thing. I love you. Uh. The way you, you strike. <laughs> Just because, love the way. No, for the first half, they were good. They were like, okay. Yeah, that's right. Exactly. Yeah, the stand suddenly, yeah. Suddenly, when they came here, bro. That's the thing. Liverpool because has this. Liverpool, com- yeah. Sorry. They got this Liverpool complacency. Yes. yes. Complacency thing, no. That. Hey, hello. You the the match and finish it. Like, it's still got one and a half. Okay, just Why can you, you can you yeah can you explain because against Manchester City also one half is totally different from the other half. Yeah, for what, Liverpool what's performance. I don't yeah, understand. what what's from yeah. your observation last because, weekend? Because, you, mm. because if you think about logically, mm. you your first second half you should just tekan tekan your pedal go higher, right? Somehow they let go of the pedal and then they just like, what's happening, guys? You like. They eat too much in the in the, in the half time. No, no, no. They, they, they eat too much. They they eat too much prata over the weekdays. Yeah, five prata lah. Five prata. You see, much. the thing is about Liverpool. <laughs> five prata against much. such a small team, right? They should finish off. But they they tend to have that tendency after a big game, like man, you you see the next next week itself. They they tend to like ah, you know, confident high, but they play. It is very surprising. It's, can you explain this complacency? I, I, I don't know how to explain because the thing is that uh, the only thing I can see the only thing I can see is that when the uh, Nabi Keta was out right yeah. and then we have Ox coming in and then we yeah. had Jones the only player who's actually busting his downfall is Hendo so it makes sense that at, the, at that moment the 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 two midfielders who's accompanying him in the middle is actually not good enough. We don't have Fabi, Barmino at that point of time. We lost uh, Keta, and then uh, even Mili is out injured as well. So we don't actually yeah. have the. Do you agree with me with that? Yeah. That yes. Liverpool actually got a problem with squad depth. Uh, Do you agree with me? Actually, yeah, that's the thing. Uh, we have been talking about it for the past. Yeah. Uh, that's what seasons. James said yeah. also. Yeah. If they lost, if they lost Salah, it. if they lost uh, money, ah, yeah. I don't think there's that's anybody it. else to replace. No, that's it. But I, I, just, I, I, I just came to the decision. It, it, it has. I'm not stressing. Wait, wait. There's two. There's two situations. Here. See, first of all, um, we have players who can come in to replace our main stays, like you Nabi, know, Keta. Uh, Fabinho and all that, we have the players who come in 
and our way of playing never change. Sometimes it's like that. But at times when it happens, like Brighton, we have uh, players who come in and somehow they cannot cope with the kind of uh, the intensity that the other teams actually uh, pushing us. Intensity like, or expectations from your fans? Maybe, maybe actually both. Maybe both. Because <laughs> when we played against Brighton, uh, the, the thing about Brighton that we actually mentioned since the first time when they're actually mm. the surprise team, they never give up. Their team is all the way, when they are losing, they still push on. That's why they are actually in the top five. Yeah, but, but, yeah, uh, but yeah. the thing is, you guys has won, I mean, fair play, you guys won up upright. And versus a team like this, you know, morale is high. You should have overtake them. It's not, I mean, we, we, we have, have overtake them. Yeah. Now we are second place. My turn is. No, 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 no. What I'm trying to say. <laughs> In that match, so you have you should have won it. Not not overtaken them by position, bro. Today you can be oh. second place. Next week you guys lose to West Ham. Okay, this coming game you lose to West Ham. Brighton uh. they will overtake you, bro. I'm very confident. I am I'm, I'm giving you that face if... that what I'm giving uh the Arsenal you know stuck thing or I when I don't even know him I say bro don't worry the Arsenal will pick up. I I be, I know where where it comes from. You, you have know, to make when, up your mind, though. You want to yeah. support me or you want to support us? <laughs> 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 I don't know. No, no. I, 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 I will I but, feel yeah. I think Everton has a better chance of yeah. winning. I mean, if if I'm Moist, I won't I won't full force in Belgium. But I'll play it, the, 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 the reserve. Yeah, but to be to be honest, uh if I'm club right, I would take advantage of uh West Ham's uh tired tired. Mm. Tired uh players uh, to be honest. Yes, if if he's if if he most likely will, but I don't know lah. Uh, because nah, you know it it's uh like I said, West Ham is uh to be honest in terms of squad depth, I think we're we're the same Liverpool and uh, West Ham. We are mm. running out players to cover certain people, but you know uh I don't know. That's why I said. What was the injury uh, update? Just injury update. Uh, Fabinho and Thiago actually Fabinho played uh, in the match against Atletico Madrid yesterday and mm. Thiago came in as well Nabi Keita is still out I think um, after that uh, Mili is still out as well but other than that I think our the thing is our original three who was supposed to be playing uh, less Nabi Keita will be second Fabinho Endo and uh, Thiago seems to be uh, coming back slowly, he, uh, Klopp may not be pushing uh, these players 100%, but I think for West Ham, yeah. probably this three will be. Yeah. Then, we, we are, West Ham still got some players injured, but there's a lot like Fredericks all coming back into the fold because uh, they're all, all good now, Fredericks, but yeah. I, I don't think they'll be playing. But you know, it, it, you never know, it depends on to, uh, not the match with uh, the Europa match uh, tomorrow, how it goes. Tonight, tonight. Yeah, yeah. Tomorrow morning. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Two morning, yeah, two morning, yeah. So we'll oh, see. Well. Yeah, but uh, to be honest, uh, yeah, the I think the main issue with Liverpool right now is complacency, uh, between uh the team, and then uh, mm. if yeah, yeah. I, 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 yeah, not say, uh, but I, I'm sorry, I just don't think I'm just being very pessimistic mm. about the scoreline. Uh, you know, I just I, I think I'll take a draw. I'll take a draw. <laughs> to be honest, yeah. Would, would Moyes change any uh, tactics or what kind of tactics or gameplay would, would you think would best suit against Liverpool? I think he be I think he's trying to figure out how to um uh cover those who are already uh, either uh, tired or injured from the you know, That's important, long right? it's, it's, yeah. yeah it's important right to it. Which which I, I noticed that Liverpool also had this rotational issue with the squad also like, like, you know in terms of people to take over, uh, we still also face the same problem, uh, in terms of like um I think for me it was pretty good lah. We still have now uh, we got Declan Rice, we got Mark Obel, we got uh you know, Ben Rama. You know, the, the other day uh Aston Villa we had uh Lanzini back in the fold, so we're pretty okay. It's just that our forward is still a bit a bit uh. Bit limited in terms of my just Marco Antonio. I go still got Jared Bowen, so I actually expect to at least see something somebody from the from the squ- uh, academy to come up and play forward la. But I, it's a long shot. You would you, you would predict a draw la. I would predict a draw. Like a draw. Yeah. 
I will take a draw. I don't want to <laughs> I'll take a draw. Uh, if we win, awesome. Ha ha. But, but if we draw, then okay lah. But I don't expect to lose. Okay. Is, no, don't OSM expect to lose. Okay. Kind of, yeah. Mm. OSM is the kind of team that is uh, uh, we, we are having uh, tough games against. The team that is always biting at the ankles all the way to the Matthew yeah. I mean, But, but that's, that's the a, a problem games. that uh, for, for Klopp that Liverpool yeah. is not performing out of 90 minutes. Liverpool has always played yeah. well for 15 minutes out of that 90 yes. minutes. Mm. So is that mm. something that has to change and what needs to be changed? Yes. The thing is, I think because his tactics is, is um, he, aside from the occasional pressing that we always do uh, as a team, uh, the midfield running record, I think what he wants is, that because again, because of squad depth, we don't have that much players to cover and or we don't have good enough players to cover the uh, mainstay players, right? Uh, he needs to be taking care of them so that they don't tire themselves out. And because when you're tired, you can get injured. And then mm. that's like uh, months and weeks out of the game. And that is another problem by itself. So he's trying to manage these guys so that they don't play at that. They're like our first few seasons where, you know, rock, uh, heavy metal football, every all out. And then by the 70th minute, we punch it. We can't cope with So he's actually trying to manage. And this is the tactics that he's actually going, uh, going about now at the moment. So, uh, Unfortunately, uh, that part where we are trying to defend, sometimes we get careless and we get caught up. And WSM is the kind of team who will never stop going at you. Same as Brighton. So this is the only thing that I'm afraid of in terms of uh, this game against WSM. Other than that, uh, I, mm, yeah, sorry. I think I, I, I think we can win. It's just that, that one or two goals that WSM can creep in that's the dangerous one. <laughs> well, what's your prediction? Hell no, then? you're gonna win. <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe uh, three one. Oh. Wow. Oh. wow! 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 Who's the uh, centre back pairing then? Centre back pairing, Matip and Van Dijk. Oh, so Matip no good for Nati, ah? Hmm. Like what? Chill, chill, ah, chill, chill for now, ah. James, what about you? What's your prediction and what do you think? To the one, game, how would how would you think the game would go? <laughs> Sorry, he, he said this. Two one to SM. Two one to SM. Hmm. Done deal. <laughs> Done deal. I would say one nil to SM. Nice guys, yeah. guys, three guys against me, guys. <laughs> no, no, no. You three have been against, against <laughs> no against me so many times. <laughs> I finally have my backup. <laughs> Because of home ground, home ground, and I think I've been very impressive, very impressed with West Ham organized defense. And I didn't know that Stuart Pierce was one of the coaches. Yeah. So me, by me by hearing that, right, I'm just convinced that West Ham can weather the storm for that 15 minutes, and the rest of the 90 minutes, you know, just West hearing can... his name, we are motivated. What else? The players who play, right? <laughs> just hearing Stuart Pierce. Yeah. Whoa, yeah. You know? yeah. Uh, the, the only factor is that Europa game. Uh, that is happening. Yeah, yeah. 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 that's the, only that's thing the thing. biggest matter. Which is, I think, is taking a toll on the players. Ah, uh. yeah. You know yeah. who is going? Is it a full team? Uh, is it so far? What I see from the Instagram uh, pictures, almost like the full team. Yeah, yeah the first time Europa, ma. That's why everybody yeah. is set, oh, everybody. excited to go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's the that's the thing. You see, it is <laughs> something that we want, yeah, but man. it can be yeah. our undoing also. Chayu, man, we said, come on, uh. Europa. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, ah. Uh. Come on, let's have yeah. <laughs>